All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. It is I, Zalza, and today we're going to be finishing off, hopefully, the Arceus storyline, pretty much. I'm not quite sure. Uh, last time we got Arceus, we fused it with the God of War to create Arc of War here. Very cool, indeed. And now we're going to go see if we can talk to Mr. Pokemon here. Hello, aren't you the new Pokemon League champion? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's a star of the league champion, just remember sticking in. Tell me, Mr. Pokemon, I do research on my Pokemon with personnel from the Bark Town. You, you had an encounter with the both of the Pokemon Arceus, I can sense it. Could you perhaps bring it here? I beg you, I do have it with me. I just have it fused with the Gardevoir. Can you not take, can you not see it with the Gardevoir? I'm sorry, Arcvore, it looks like you're gonna have to be defused for a short bit. Alright, I'll defuse you for a little bit. It'd be kind of funny if you become modest. <laughs> the Arceus becomes modest. <gasps> that would be amazing. Yes, blah blah blah. Yes, I'm mistaking it. No way. Is this really the Pokemon from Sinnoh Legends? The one they call Arceus? Arceus may be the key to solving the mystery of the unknown at the ruins of Alf. Can you come to the ruins of Alpha with me? Please, you must. I'm trembling with excitement. I think something's about to happen. Okay. Hmm. I've been studying the ruins for many years, but something feels different. There are known pictures on the wall. It feels like they're staring at me. There's something eerie that is making my legs shiver. I can't stop them. Thus, I was transported to a mysterious place. <gasps> what the? Where are we? What, what, what happened? Where are we? I'm so confused. Sinjo Ruins. Okay. Hi, buddy. Well, hello. <gasps> Those are the things that we need for Necrozma. But they're on top of the building. I don't know how to get them. Well, hello. It's a freezing, isn't it? For a youngster like you, to be interested in the Sinjo ruins is not something we see every day. Take a look at them. From the design of the pillars of the Sinjo ruins, you can see that the cultures of Sinnoh and Jojo have blended. Okay. What was I thinking? We don't need to be standing here. Why don't you come to the cabin around the corner for more discussion? For more discussion? I don't know if that's proper English there, but that's okay. I mean... Hi, buddy. By the way, we happen to have a person at the cabin. I could just say we have... We happen to have a guest at the cabin. Any trainer should know who she is. The famous trainer from Sinnoh. Dawn? She's traveling around to study myths and ancient ruins. Isn't that something? Dawn? No, that wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't be Dawn. <gasps> it's Cynthia! A long time ago, people used to draw life from Pokemon, and also give their lives to those Pokemon. That shows that people in Pokemon used to be more closely bonded with each other. When people move from place to place, the myths and legends of Pokemon and their power would also be carried with these people. That's how myths and legends from each region are blended with each other. The ancient ruins for, uh, here have inherited the legends from both the ruins of Elf in Johto and the Spear Pillar in Sinnoh. That is proof that the people from Johto and Sinnoh blended together as a group. I don't know if blended is the right word here. Maybe bonded together? Or maybe worked? Blended just seems so weird as a word to put here. I don't know. Anyway, hi, my name is Cynthia. I am a Pokemon trainer. Are you sure about that? You could be a Pokemon professor for all I know, apparently. Anyway, the Sinjo ruins remind me of Sinnoh, where I come from. Initially, I thought it was because it snows a lot here as well, but that was not it. Okay. Hey, this is Sinnoh, right? Because it snows. No! A long time ago, people came from Sinnoh to live here. They must have built a temple while longing for home. That's why we call these the Sinjo Ruins. You are a Pokemon trainer? 
This Pokemon behind you can sense a familiar presence. The power of Dialga? Palkia. Or could it be Giratina? It's similar, but not quite the same. Could it be Arceus? Can you come to the Sinjo ruins with me? And bring Arceus with you. Well. Yeah, we're only using Arceus for this uh, for this thing. I wish it would work with the fusion, but I guess it's because it can't detect it. Like, it detects that it's an Arceus, right? Because it's an Arceus with a head and body, I'm pretty sure. Is that how this is that how this works on the side? Like, like see what I mean? So we, we so while looking at Necrovore, you can see that it says head is Necrozma, and body is Gardevoir. So I have a feeling that maybe for this it can't detect that. It can only detect like Dex number, let's say. So because it only detects the Dex number, that's what it's counting on. Hi. This is the mystery stage. A mythical stage built to show respect for Arceus. It is said that people used to celebrate its magnificent might with music and dance. Some people in Johto still pass down this tradition. According to an ancient document, time, space, and antimat are what or or what combined we co What? Okay, I don't Okay, why is there a space after antimatter and before the comma? That doesn't make any sense. Or what combined? Or are you trying to say are what combined? Like time, space, and antimatter are what combined we call the world. It's weird. Anyway, shall be re uh, shall be born when Osseus stands on the mystery stage. This is where one might say the lead enters the mystery stage at last. All my study of ruins and Pokemon mythology in Sinnoh may have been to bring you up to this, on this stage here today. Cool. I'm going to save the game. Alright. Oh. Go, buddy! Oh, whoops. Uh, hang on. Okay, there we go. Alright. Sorry about that. I actually thought something else was gonna happen. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, I thought I was gonna play the whole Sinjo Ruins thing, but apparently it didn't. It played so something similar to it. It's a Pokemon Egg. Take it? Yeah. I got a Pokemon Egg. Nice. Alright, what's this one? Pokemon Egg. Take it? Yeah. Got another Pokemon Egg. Alright. It's a Shining Sphere. <laughs> okay. So I got two eggs and a sphere. Cool. Hi. These shining spheres, could they be eggs? No, they're spheres. Well, one of them is, the other two are eggs. Did we just witness the very moment eggs were brought into this world? A moment no one has ever seen. No, if you bring a ditto with any Pokemon that can be bred other than legendaries, and I think there might be some other counterparts that also cannot be bred, then you can technically get Pokemon. You know what these Pokemon become before they actually become Pokemon? They're eggs. An egg is the cradle of every being. This planet itself is an egg in a sense. Eh? Life that come from an egg will come to an end in due course to begin anew. Okay. That may be what Arceus wanted to show us. 
That was. We seem to be surrounded by that strange power again. Uh? Oh, are you alright? You disappeared right in front of me. I was so surprised. I see. The power of Arceus and Unknown affected each other to create a huge energy, which sent you to the Sinjo ruins. Unknown. The ruins of Alf in Arceus. The mystery deepens. It has made me even more inquisitive. I thought it would play the same things that it did in that event. So I was trying to look it up and then and I got as far as typing in Sinjo and it didn't tell me anything. I got as far as that and then it told then it didn't go anywhere. Anyway. Oh, what am I doing? I could I could just use the box link. I keep thinking though, because this is like it's in the style of the GBA games, it doesn't have that functionality. So that's why my brain is like, okay, yeah, we gotta do it this way, we gotta go the long way, blah blah blah. no audio, at least not on my end. Ooh, plus speed instead. Ooh, I'll take that. Sure. I'm gonna take Hyper Voice. Ooh, extreme speed if we don't need that. Refresh. Nope, don't need that either. Future Sight. Don't need that either. All we need is judgment. Where do I keep my Guard of Refusions at? Okay, there we go. Keep them here. Okay, I'm gonna need you into the bottom. Now we're gonna promptly speed up the game a little bit, just so that we don't waste too much time on hatching eggs. Especially since these are legendary Pokemon, which means they take a lot longer than usual. And incubators are not a very good source of trying to speed this up anyway, so... I think there's only one of them that I liked. Well, technically two. Maybe all three of them had, like, really good fusions, but I don't have many Gardevoirs, though. I only have, like, I think one, right? Yeah, one that's free. And this one, obviously, we're keeping. I'm gonna keep it over here, though. Maybe I should just level up a bunch of Curlias on my team. Like, I have the... Like, I have room in the... Like... What am I trying to say here? Uh, like, I like I have, like, Pokemon that are way too overleveled that don't get experience, so it's not like I'm going to be wasting time here. I'm going to go 10 times speed. Whee, all right. At least the music doesn't go really fast, though. I don't know what the speed up button is. If it, if I did, I would use it. I'm gonna use this external program just to do it, just because, like, it's because I've used it before. You're a jerk. Stop, dude. Okay, hang on. I think this one may be easier. Do this. <laughs> Trying to find different strats. Actually, this might be the strat. Yeah, I don't remember which one it was. I know one of them was like really, really good, or it looked really good, and I was like, oh, I want that. Uh, I'll just I think I'll just probably fuse them with the curlias and just so that they're like 
the guard, like the Giratina, the Palkia, and the Dialga, I guess, are gonna go get levels at the same time. Ooh, there's a Tammy. Work up, not bad. Take some time, but it's it's it, okay. Ha progress update. <laughs> no, I'm gonna take a really long time. No, how many incubators do I have? Like, how how fast can I like speed it up by? I can put four on each. Two, three, four, one, two. There you go. That should make things at least a little bit faster. Oh wow, this is so fun, trying to hatch legendaries. I don't remember how I hatched the first time. I think I just had a bunch of incubators and I think I just threw them all at one, one of them. Hang on, how, how much does an incubator do? Incubator. And does Flame Body still work on them? Incubator. A portable incubator that is used to hatch eggs faster. What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, can I use Cerebi here? I'm gonna guess that even if I were to search up the crows, I'd probably get the same result though. But let's use let's use uh, Dialga. Does it tell you? No, Serbi doesn't tell you like how many egg steps it would take if it was an egg. Maybe Bulbapedia will tell me. Something has to tell me, right? One hundred and twenty cycles. I don't know what the heck that means. What does an egg cycle mean? I can spell Pokemon. Pokemon egg cycle? What does that mean? When egg is in a party, it takes an assess, decrease the six cycles by one. When a player takes a number of steps equal to an egg cycle, their eggs remaining egg cycles normally decrease by one. Okay. Okay, so it's whatever. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I know what it is. Let's go with the latest one. Because I think that makes a little bit more sense. And if not, it's just double, pretty much. So this has 120 egg cycles. So let's use the calc. Let's use a calculator. Let me keep an eye on my reporting. So 120, oops, 120 uh, times 128.
is 15,000 steps. Okay. That makes about as much sense as it's ever gonna get. This guy, man. He's gotta get out of the way. Is the hiker move? I haven't seen him move once. Speed up. My bad. I didn't realize that they were gonna hatch already. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that looks awesome. <gasps> that looks awesome too. Oh man, a lot of them look really good. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna stick with this one. This one looks really awesome. Oh yeah. I may not even switch Palkia. That looks awesome. So let's take a look at what Palkia has in terms of the different sprites. Mm. Oh, it's more red. That looks like the only difference between the two. The uh, I'll stick with the one that's... There's Iolga next. Eh. What a very bland choice it chose. Alright. Ugh. Isn't that a Game Freak sprite? Or is it just because like it's uh like it's like it's recolored really kind of thing? All right, let's go and I'm clicking all the wrong buttons because I do not remember what I was looking for. Box like there we go. All right, I'm just gonna go fuse it with three random curlias because why not? Ghost fairy. <laughs> we shall summon the most powerful Gurlia. What a very colorful Curlia. What? I was not expecting that. It's not. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm just not going to say it out loud. I actually like that. Uh, Synchronize looks good. Uh, um, Bold looks nice. My moveset. Dragon Breath. You can learn Dragon Breath. Scary Face. Eh. No, you can give up on that one. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Alright, Palkia. You shall now fuse with this Curlia. Fuse it. Let's see what we got. What am I looking at here? Huh? Oh, it's got Trace! Bro, that's awesome. Ew, none of these are really good. So I'm gonna go with naughty. Very naughty. Yeah, we can do then. Sure. Scary face. No, you can. Ugh. I guess that's its normal default thing. I feel very bad for the Curlia at this point. I I thought it would be. Getting at least something special, just like how the other one was very special about it. 
All right, Dialga. Let's see what you've got, boy, buddy. Diamond may have been my first. Let's see. Is that custom? It doesn't look like it, though. It doesn't look as it doesn't look as custom as like the as the Giratina. That looks that looks horrible. I have a feeling this is a reference. That's a reference to a game or something like that, and I just can't. I just don't know what it is. But that looks a lot better. Ooh, synchronized. <gasps> Timid. Let's go. It's Dialga. It's not going to be useful, but hey, you know what? For a Gardevoir, I think it'll be fine. I think we'll be good. Alright. Let's move them over to the team. <laughs> this is not going to look good at all. Actually, I can see what their typing is. Hang on, hang on, okay. Water Fairy? Ooh, that's Azumarill typing. So, Steel Fairy replaces Age of War. See, I don't want to replace Age of War, because Age of War has been with us for so long, and not only that, we have a strat with it, too. Shandivore? I can compare the stats and we can see if it's any better, but I don't think so. I don't think it would be any better. Any of you have any... You can go Zat 4 in front, just like always. Uh, I'll probably stick with Age of War in the team. So we have at least some level of defense, and then we'll have Necrozma on the team. Alright, so I don't know what the next... What's the next gym? Or, like, what's what's next on, on the on the things that we can do? Head to New Park Town. Then we place Mewtwo, which we already did. Place that, yes. Catch Arceus. Head back, do the thing, yep. We get three. Okay, so we have to head to Mahogany Town. But we gotta go through the, the mountain. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta head over here. Okay. Not a problem. I'm gonna heal, though. Because I don't need it anymore. We have everything we need. Oh, an item. I missed this. Splash plate. Oh, wait. Are one, of the, are one of the most in such places in Johto. The harsh conditions make it difficult for anybody, anyone to wander here. We say that, but I saw people up here. Came on his way, but I can't cross the other side. What a bother. Heavy over holes. Isn't that what the monks training in Violet City is all about? Uh, okay, so that kind of tells you what you need to do, okay. Hi, buddy! There's no greater test than a hiker than conquering a mountain. That's cool. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna Thunderbolt... Moonblast. Moonblast. Whoa. 
Alright. Uh I guess moon blasting again. No! Ancient power. Ancient power is the black. I was kinda of hoping for the Omni Boost. No! Game, come on, man. At least it's not a special battle where I can't use items, but I don't want to use an item like. Should I? It's a bit of a waste, but sure, why not? You better give me 3,000 Poké Dollars then. better get 3,000 Poké Dollars then from this fight, just so I can actually replace that. Like, you're replacing Magic Coat. Bye. A level 10 Curlia is learning Ancient Power. Uh, yes, please. We don't need to learn disarming voice. You don't need to learn slash either. Well, now we're going to the Palkio one. Magical Leaf? No, we don't need to learn Magical Leaf either. I can get some money from that. Uh, no. Don't want that. Actually, I need to see how much bucket dollars you gave me, though. Probably nothing, though. So I signed this guy going to the Lake of Rage 2. I wonder if he's investigating the weather there. Hi. Prepping myself to go down the mountain. You do that. Alright, Goop Carrier. If that is your real name. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm gonna blast. Oh, I thought the Gujo might have made it survive. Apparently not. Shadow Sneak. Nope. It seems so weird, though, that, like, there isn't a priority special move. And what I mean by that is, like, it's, like similar to, um... Like, similar to, like, Shadow Sneak or something like that. Power Gem? Okay, both of them are just learning Power Gem. I'm guessing... There's some time and space like gems. Ooh! Alright! Thunderbolt! Goodbye. too fast. If that one only gave me about a thousand polka dollars, I doubt the other guy gave me any more or less. 
pretty much more than that. So, I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. You do that, you owe me 3,000 Poke Dollars. Oh, what is it with Cedra's, like, fusions looking so good? Alright, there we go. Alright. And here it comes the combine strats. If only there was like a like a legendary like uh, setup move that's like it's like an omni boost kind of thing. All right. Hi. Check out my parallel turn. I'm, I'm not a professional skier. I don't know what a parallel turn is. But I have a feeling that it's something that I, I myself cannot perform. Alright, Zapvol. Return. Go, Necrovol. How does this thing no move blast? Is that a move, Oddish, or Weezing? Come on. I think I mean Weezing. Uh, we'll just use Psychic. I know we got a special attack drop, but yeah, it's not gonna matter. It's an Oddish. I think I know one of them between Weezing and Mach. One, I know one of them's like physical defense bulky, and I know the other one's like special defense. I never remember which one's which, though. Like, uh, uh, like I can't remember, like, right before. Moon Blast. Your dragon psychic type is nothing to me. You got wiped out. I don't know what that means. Anyway, the fresh air does wonders to my body. I feel like I can take on anything. You do that, buddy. You think you can take on anything, but you can't take me on. Spiricata. Ooh. If only this was like, uh. If only this was, uh, what is it? Shedinja kind of thing. I'd be more terrified. Wonder Guard, nothing can hit. Yeah. Uh, ancient power. Oh, I guess I did nothing. Uh, movement last time. That means it's. It was yeah, it was dark ground then. Or ground dark. I don't really care to be honest. Dragon Claw? No. 
You're a special attacker. Why are you learning claw moves? <laughs> Sand inch? Oh no. thing too because it's the one that wins all right another one trying to learn dragon claw although Giratina I think is mixed it just depends on what like which one you have right like I think for my brilliant diamond I think I had to make mine a special attacker despite me always making a physical attacking one because I like using Shadow Force. I like use I like legendaries when they use their signature moves, depending on what they are, right? Coffee. All right. Uh, I'm gonna heal you up. Hyper Potion. I'll be... oh, okay, fine. What do you got for me? Ooh, Sneasel could be a potentially nice Pokemon to go get. Eh. What's in here? Oh, this is where I needed to go. Okay. Show me your Pokemon. I want to see them. He could have just asked. See here. So it's a Kyogre. Ooh, it's a Kyogre fusion. Actually, during this entire time, have I even found a Kyogre? I don't think so. I don't think I found any of the, the Hoenn trio. I think the only Hoenn legendary I think I was able to find was the uh, Latios, I think. Oh, and the Oxus. Oh, and the Regis. I think I found all the Regis. Wait, did I find all the Regis? No, I didn't find Steel yet. I didn't find Regis Steel. It's the Pokia one! I wonder if it actually is going to grab the, the model that I liked. I think that's it. Is, is that it? Let's see. Because there was this one. Cow, I didn't see that one yet. That might be a new one. I guess this is it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi. I'll give you something if you beat me. That's that's okay. You don't have to. We don't have to fight at all. Clodial. Oh ho ho! You dumb goof this time, Thunderbolt. Oh, looks like we're getting the trio. All right, good. Magish. <laughs> that's, the, that's that's a weird name, Magish. Thunderbolt. Not barely. That didn't really do much. Alright, Thunderbolt. You win. I did. You know what else I win? I win two fusions! So what is the... Aw, he didn't go with the one I liked. Okay. Bye bye model. We want, we're gonna go with the model I liked. That's new. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's new. 
that was one of the models though, but eh. Kind of like this one. I kind of like this one looks intimidating, but I wish it was more like zoomed in closer kind of thing. I like this one. <laughs> All right, Dialga or Dialia. It's evolved. Ooh, that one's actually kind of nice, too. Ooh. I like this one. It's very simple, but elegant. Very nice. There we go. We made it to Mahogany Town. I gotta keep remembering I have the box link, but like I needed to heal up anyway. Gotta remember, I have the box link. I don't need to keep doing this. Hehehe, <laughs> we have a Giratina one. So now, if I find a really good Gardevoir that's like has a really good nature kind of thing, I can like move one of these in here. See, I think, if I remember correctly, the one I wanted to go for, is Palkia even a worthwhile, like, pursuit for me to go for? I don't remember. Because if Palkia, Palkia is the worthwhile one for right now, I mean, it's a good temporary choice for right now, considering what I have, but, like, is it something that I should go for, like, and keep right now, right? I'm probably confusing everybody right now because I do not know what I'm talking about. Because I know you have a really good ability, but you also have a cool sprite that I like. So let's see, you have 141 as your special attack stat. It's kind of what I like. And we're looking at Palkia. Oh no, it does have those sprites. Maybe I just maybe I just didn't bother looking at them. Alright. Alright, so let's see here. What are your stats? Difference between you. I definitely know that. I definitely know that the other one has a better ability overall. Okay, so you have less HP. So they're both the same typing. So they're both water fairies. So the other one has more HP. Less physical attack, less physical defense. They both have the same special attack, so that's good. The other one's got more special defense, and it's just slightly slower. I gotta say, I like the other one more. It's got, it's better overall. I'm sorry, it's better overall. Like, it just has, like, better stats. Why is the... Is it just because, like... Is it just because Palkia tries to be more neutral? In its original stats or something? Or am I just wrong? What are the difference between the originals, then? I swear, if they're both identical, I'm confused. Okay, it has more... Uh, it has more extra HP. It's got 10 extra HP, 20 less attack. Okay, so I know where that extra HP comes from. It comes from defense. Special attack, they're identical. Special defense. Okay. Okay, so I see where they're different. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so according to this, especially like for this game in total, Pokius has the base stat total of 680, but yet the other one that I'm looking at is 670, but yet the other one with 670 has beaten Palkia in every way, shape, or form for Gardevoir, except for physical defense and speed. But it's not by much. Like, it's not a lot that it's like, it disqualifies it, right? It's like by what, two or three points, I think, each? 
three points each. That's funny. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But hey, that's fine. It's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that nearly as much. It kind of does sound like I do have like a huge problem with it, but I actually don't. Why is it so low? No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so who doesn't have an item in this team? Wait, everybody has an item? Oh, Zora 4 doesn't have an item. Yeah, Zora 4 doesn't have an item. I guess I'll be fine for now until I find something else that's just as good or even or even better. Uh, I'd love to go to like a bridge for some game, but the weather has been a bit unpredictable lately. Uh, it's good to be outside. I feel so free. Good. Good for you, buddy. Hi. Ancient power. Ooh. Oh, I got the Omni Boost. Let's go. I needed the Omni Boost. Ooh, orange. Huh. Moonblast. I figured that the plus one special attack might do it. Orito? What's the toe part? Thunderbolt? Hmm. I'm trying to like think of every Pokemon I can like to catch your Pokemon Fusion. You do that, buddy. You're gonna run out of PC boxes before me. Hang on. Good job, buddy. Ancient power. Should go for more Gardevoir Fusions, in my opinion. Ow, power up. Moon Blast. It was a dragon type, okay, I was thinking it might be. But I was like, eh, I'll try it. Thunderbolt? Goodbye. The Pokemon look rare. <laughs> They're all Gardevoirs, my man. Only two of them have been fused with legendaries. Actually, you know what? No. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokemon I caught. You do that, buddy. Litwick. Well, ancient power. A little candle survived. What? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway. Zorvor. Or well, in this case, Necrovor, Dark Pups. Bye bye. What? That's not right. Sure it is. It's always right. Get the tree. Get the tree again. Critique City. Alright. Let's go 
heal while we're here. Alright, I think we can do... I think it just wants us to do the Mahogany Gym. Yeah, do the Mahogany Gym. Okay. Good to know. Uh, what am I doing? I could just fly there. That's another reason why I wanted to go here, is because I wanted to be able to get the fly location. And we can also face Trainer too, so... Hi, buddy. Hi, Mr. Champion. Price uses Ice-type Pokemon. You'll have to score a goal if you want to challenge him. But all the time you need to prepare your shot. Take this. Alright. What does that do? I don't know what that does. I'm going like nothing gets past me. Fire in my heart and ice in my veins. You do that. <clears throat> Alright, Wayne. Let's see what you got. Excuse me? Why do you guys not have the elements of your gym? Thunderbolt! Okay. Ancient power! Does the ancient power me now? Interesting. Moon Blast! Moon Blast! Moon Blast! Ancient Power! Oh, I should have stuck with the last one. My bad. Alright. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't have started with Thunderbolt. I blinked. I For some reason, I thought it was Mew and something else, and not Ampharos. Excellent. I had Shadow Ball, but hey. What a power play. Sure, buddy. I know what the timing is. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm not trying to face all the trainers, my man. Okay. I'll give you a tip if you can beat me. Alright, let's see what you got. Martin. Ninja. The one time you want Zapvor on your team. Moon Blast! Ooh. Oh, wait, that's right, I'm not a fire type. Moon Blast! Zapter? Alright, Moon Blast! You went negative one, buddy. All right, practice up with Moon Blast. Go too fast. I sure am, buddy. I 
I may have overshot it. Hustle, hit, and never quit. You see that, but... <laughs> Maurice. Whale-ish. Uh, it'll be water grass or water poison. So, I'm gonna go with Dark Pulse. Eh. I was kind of hoping for the, for the flinch. If it survived. It is a 30? It's either 20 or 30. Okay, this thing is very slow and very weak. Alright, let's go. Okay, so now I can hit me with normal type moves. That's fine. Get the flinch. You didn't need... You didn't need foresight for that. You could just use a headbutt. Bam. Yeah, okay. Can I just get out of here? Gotta reset. Okay, so it is a reset thing, okay. Oh yeah, alright, so that's what you need to do. Okay, that's what I need. I like a champ today. Or Alright. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. Outskated. Sure. Alright, let's go heal everybody. get like two gym badges right off the bat i think we can do price and then we can go straight to what's his name morty i think Should be fine. all right so now we have the strat oh yeah i know what i need to do for this it's just so awkward What we needed. There you go. Score. Yep, I did it. All right. All right. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I've been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I price the Ice Trainer shall demonstrate my power. <laughs> All right, price. I've come to bargain for a price. No, okay. Maris. Thunder Wave. 
Genshin power. Alright, Zap 4, it's time to wrap this up with Thunderbolt. Aha, perfect. I think it's time we crash through the skies itself. Thunderbolt again. Ancient power. Hmm. Return Zapvor. Go Age of War. King Shield. Tom. King Shield. Tom Mine. King Shield Come on Alright Age of War I think it's about time we destroy our opponent What? Why? Moon Blast Moon Blast again he was fully healed, uses a full restore. Why? What? A jolt turn? King shield. Ooh, last resort. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, flash cannon. I was hoping this would have dropped. King shield again. Still last resort, that's interesting. Still have two moves then. Oh, you paralyzed me. No, you jerk! Moon Blast! We'll deal with you. Oh, I was hoping for one shot. Come on. Come on, Moon Blast! Moon Blast! Moon Blast! <laughs> Weave Rua. Alright. Wrap this up with Flash Cannon. King Shield Oh no No Yes Age of War did it Moon Blast Okay so I should have done Moon Blast instead of Flash Cannon. I thought it was Ice type. Uh, I am impressed by your prowess. I have earned 7,200 Poké Dollars. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of the Glacier Badge. Cool. And this, this is a gift from me. Would have been funny if it was Ice Beam's like, ugh, I already had that. <laughs> that gave me premium wonder tickets. I won't be wonder trading. Surprise members, you truly are a gifted Pokemon fan. I sure am.
me and my Gardevoir fusions, which I have not... I, I didn't lose anything. I almost did twice. I kind of thought that... Uh, was it a Weeball or was it a Sneasel fusion? I kind of thought that it would be a, an Ice Dark type. So I was like, so you just made it fuse with his Zoroark for no reason. I'm like, okay, I'll use Flash Cannon. And it's like, nope, not super effective. It's like... See what's in this cave. So it's like, so you just, so wait, what what typing is this? Thing? Is it just dark? And then I kind of thought it was all over when I when it when paralysis kicked in. I was like, no, paralysis is gonna make me lose. And then it's like, no, nope, paralysis didn't. It's like <gasps> paralysis didn't make me lose. <laughs> Start Indra? Oh, what's this? I found a strange prism. I don't know what that means. Wait! We might actually have all the, all the things from Necrozma. If I remember things correctly, I think that's how you do it. Legendary Pokemon. Let's go to the bottom. Let's go to Necrozma. Let's just see. All right. So, okay. Let's see here. Then go to Mount Moon, Cerulean Cave, Mount Mortar, and Rock Tunnel to get the Strange Prisms and return them to the pedestals on top of the Pokemon Tower. Ooh. Okay. I want to do this. This is new to me. I don't know what this looks like. And I'm not trying to, like, create suspensers or, or lying or anything like that. I, this came out literally when I started recording this. I should have escape ropes there. there. I can't use that here? I can't leave. Uh, I can't leave. Unless I can use the box link here, but I don't think it works in caves. It does? Okay. You have a right? You do. That honestly saves me. I'm just gonna throw you in this PC for now. Luxray? Okay. Pretty good Pokemon. I don't know. I was never a huge Luxray fan. Staraptor? absolutely, freaking lootly But Luxray? I never was. That's why when, like, there was, a, like, a whole big, uh, like... Was it a pool thing, or was it like just like a whole little thing? It's like, oh, this is what everybody's Sinnoh team's gonna look like. And I'm just like, but why is Luxray there? Like, Luxray's not that great, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I was always... I always leaned towards having Staraptor on my team, and that was it. I think that was the only thing... I think it was... What was it? It was Staraptor? It was, it was like, it was everything but the Luxray, right? Alright, let's see what the... Actually, we get to see what new Pokemon spawn here now. I don't think I remember. Politoed? It's just only two encounters though, because it's for the ghastly oh wait three. Because Cubone. But the ghastly haunter that can barely spawn. And also the uh the Cubone. You can find Moltres here now. Uh hi. Get 
by. Find a robot here. And if anybody really wants me to go with just using only Gardevoir fusions, anytime I've had to use another Pokemon just for like an HM or something like that, I could have easily fused it with a Curlia and just used it too. The only difference is I would have wasted some more time. That's the only difference. So you could just say that I'm saving everybody time. I guess every floor has different encounters. Well, that's pretty interesting. Alright. Quest completed. You tell me that, but I don't know what quest I completed. Prisms appear to be glowing more strongly. The entire tower went dark. Too bad it didn't take out my lantern. Aha. Our first moonlight like, bathed the land. A prism rests with stones and sand and a tunnel. Deep and wide, find the prism where the shadows hide. Where psychic echoes resonate, a prism waits beyond the mind's gate. Amidst the torrents, fresh and flow, the final prism's light does glow. I think that's like the hints for all of it. It's a ghost! Hi, Bellsprout. Did the ghost do anything? Haunted girl. Hi! Uh, level 72? Moon blast. Go down. What? Uh oh. If it has a leak, I can be dangerous. Actually, I don't know. How does a leak work if it's a fur fish fusion? Does it do the thing? <gasps> I can lay them to rest again? Oh, we're, fi we're fighting every trainer now. Every ghost, come on. Come on, ghosts, fight me. I'll be your ghost buster. I will free you from this earthly coil. Is it more? No, is it, isn't it mortal coil? I don't know. Ooh. That is so cool. And terrifying. We're going to moonblast that. I know it's not going to do a lot. But it's special attack dropped. And this kind of helps. Not with that, though. Uh, Thunderbolt. Oh, I was kind of hoping for at least a little bit more damage. Oh, I was kind of hoping that the burn will lead you to, like, 1 HP, and I was going to be like, oh, 1 HP! And then I was going to win. That didn't happen. I'm sad. Anyway, Dark Pulse. Goodbye, Hori Knight. Pouring net? I don't know. Actually, pouring net kind of makes sense, though, because it's like dot .net. Makes sense. Anyway. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go here. Oh, I kind of forgot I could have just done that. Hi. It's like it's trying to say Pepsi. Or we're not trying to say that. Alright, uh, Thunderbolt. 
do pesky water types. Surviving my electric moves. Actually, I have no idea what level Nikosme is. I'm hoping it's not like level 72, because that's kind of fun. Hi. Why are they all spirits again? No, why are you slacking? You're slack kern. Slack kerning. I don't know. That doesn't really work. Boom blast. Is it Truant? I almost wanted to survive to see if it was actually loafing around. It would be funny if it was loafing around. It's like, why, are you, why did you go with the worst ability possible for your sun kern? I know your Sunkern has the worst base stat total of every Pokemon in the game, but still. Ooh, Musel. How amusal. Oh. I don't even know what I was trying to go for. Oh, it is Ice type. Good. I was expecting Dark uh, Psychic. Wouldn't they only have one weakness? I'm trying to remember like all the different weaknesses. No, it would have two. I keep for I keep forgetting about fairy. Every time I try to do these calculations, I keep forgetting about fairy. So it'd have two, but one's quad. Oh, so I'm forgetting something else. No, because fighting would be neutral. Or it should be neutral, I should say. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's that's it. I think it's only weak to two types. Oh, but I did pray that's it. That's good. Hey, Javor. Had a feeling. Boom, blast. For some reason, I thought you had psychic. I don't know why. I thought Age of War had psychic. Weird. Anyway, it's fine. Oh, another ghost. <laughs> One leaves, the other appears. <laughs> Gold gas. Oh, I ain't fallen for this. I ain't fallen for this. That's a water ground type right there. Go, Nick Revoir. Alright. Now, I'll take you out of that balls. Oh, was it ghost type the entire time? It was a water ghost. It wasn't water ground. You're down. Alright. Did not expect the horn drill. Oh, uh, that's actually kind of funny, though. I was not expecting the horn drill. You can just see my face after it. As soon as I saw the horn drill and it went through, my jaw hit the floor. It's like, seriously? Like, this is how it's gonna go down? It's like, okay, whatever. I was like, I thought I was outsmarting the AI by going with a grass type. Hi. Time to go for another ghost. Man dash. What a man to dash like that, um... Ancient power. Uh, 
Okay. You know it would be like a total nuke, actually? Having two of the highest HP Pokemon with Final Gambit. Fuse together. So that their HP stats, so that the HP doesn't go down by a lot, right? I... I tried talking to you, but you wouldn't talk to me. Okay, you're either Rock Flying or you're Rock Dragon. Go with rock flying. So you're ground type. Okay. Dragon ground? Dra ground flying. So the useless typing. There's absolutely nothing. Level 72. Awesome. We got some protection, I think, from Horn Drill. Good. I apparently need that right now. Sabrina, have you ever seen anything like this? The darkness. It fell so quickly. This is unlike anything I've sensed before. Everyone, we must stay composed and seek a solution together. Silestar, you're here! Situation is dire. All light has suddenly disappeared from the sky. No one knows why this is happening. The darkness has even reached all the all the way to Saffron City, but its advance seems to mysteriously stop at the city's western edge. My grandmother used to speak of a city that became shrouded in darkness just like this when I was little. In the story, light never returned to the city's inhabitants. I hope this isn't what's happening here now. My grandmother lives next door to Saffron Gym. You might want to go speak to her if you're interested in learning more. As for me, I'm heading back west of Saffron City, where the darkness stops to seek answers. I don't know if I'll find any, but it's our only lead. Please join me there, too, as soon as you can. The Long Night Part 1. A Mysterious Darkness has... Let's try some of the region. Meet Sabrina outside Saffron City's west gate, western gate to investigate. This is unreal. I must be dreaming. The darkness! It's because of the ghosts! What in the world is happening? Never in my life have I witnessed anything like this. Have I gone blind? My old eyes can't see anything. No one is going to believe this. Sabrina went to Saffron City's... Motion's edge to seek answers about the cause of this darkness. Sabrina's a, she's a mysterious person, but she obviously cares a lot about the people of her city. Hey, be thankful you guys have lights, though. <laughs> Everything's all good in the Pokemon Center. Don't worry, everybody here is like, oh, something's happening outside. It's not affecting us in here. <laughs> This is actually kind of funny though. It's so dark outside. What did we do? All right, fine, it's, it's, it's okay. Teleport. We can still teleport though, let's go. I think I gotta, I think I gotta go here? Didn't you say I was like next to, oh. Hmm, what a strange contraption. Ah, Zalastar, this is a strange receptacle. He appeared here overnight. I'm not sure what it is. It's an unusual aura seems to have set my poison type Pokemon, but it won't budge at all, no matter how many physical attacks I inflict upon it. This Pokemon still is similar to the ones in Pokemon Tower. The <laughs> Venomoth is just hitting it. My back really hurts. I'm lucky I have a Metro here giving me massages. For some reason, it's easier for everyone to catch lots of Pokemon because of this. Almost everyone in the city keeps Pokemon as pets. Very shiny Pokemon indeed. Uh oh, a well, Pokemon trainer. Please do do try to keep your voice down to not disturb my sleeping Shana. Tell me, do you know about hidden abilities? Yes, I do. 
I would assume no less from a young accomplished Pokemon trainer as yourself. Thanks to my trusty Mushona's ability to peek into the dream world, I'm able to locate Pokemon with rare abilities. Right now I can detect some. Some of the Pokemon around Route 14 might have their hidden ability. Many related Pokemon rarely stay in the same spot for long, so you should head there quickly if you want a chance to ca of catching one. Okay, is it not here? I thought she said... Was it... No, wait, did she say Saffron? Maybe she said Saffron. Maybe I just... Maybe I'm just thinking of what she said here. Saffron. Well, she said next to a gym. need a repel. <laughs> Sorry, I love doing that. Okay, she said next to the... Nope, that's not it. Is it this one? Ah, uh, welcome, dear traveler. I see you're one of the brave souls seeking answers to the encroaching darkness. Sabrina's told you about our connection to the hidden dimension, hasn't she? I can share a bit more with you, if you're willing to listen, sure. You see, there's a realm unseen, a dimension where thoughts, dreams, and consciousnesses intertwine. Every living being, humans, and Pokemon alike sends and receives messages through this ethereal channel. Yet these messages seldom reach our con conscious minds. They're felt as intuition or inspiration. This dimension is a thread that binds all alternate universes together. That's enough. Go on. Now, psychic Pokemon possess a rare gift. They can consciously interact with this dimension. This is what allows them to control minds, send telepathic messages. My family, including my granddaughter Sabrina, is among those born with this remarkable ability. Sabrina and I share this connection across time and space. We've used it to communicate, even to speak with another gifted individual from another world. That someone lived in a place called Ultra Megalopolis. Much like Sabrina, they possess the power to emit messages through our shared dimension. It has been a long time since they last attempted to communicate. They spoke of a calamity that befell their world, a malevolent presence called... Necrozma. <gasps> Necrovore, did you do this? No, I'm kidding. It would be kind of funny, though. This sinister being arrives, swallowing lights and plunging their world into an endless night. The essence of their existence was drained, leaving naught but darkness behind. I fear, dear traveler, that the same dark fate threatens our canto. Necrozma's reach knows no bounds spanning across universes to cast its shadow. Please, for the sake of our worlds and all that inhabit them, put an end to this menace. Our hopes, our minds, and our strength are with you on this perilous journey. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to click all the same things, but okay. I thought she said we needed to talk to her grandmother first. I thought that's what Sabrina said, is like, you need to talk to my grandmother so we can figure out how to deal with this. Apparently not. Alright, we need to go to the western thing. Is that this side? Do we need to go outside the city? We need to go outside the city. Zalsa, Malakazam picked up a psychic disturbance in Saffron City. So we followed it right here. It led us to this strange crystal. I've never seen anything like this. I'm not sure if it's safe to touch it. But it seems to be unaffected by Alakazam's psychic powers, too. Change prism. <laughs> Mine! Huh? Did you hear this? Uh-oh. The darkness! It's spreading again! 
I can't discern his boundaries now. Hmm, this is worrying, to say the least. We must find higher ground somewhere to survey the extent of the spread. Meet me in top Celadon City's department store. From its rooftops, we should be able to see how far it goes. Hurry, we can't afford to wait. I don't think we completed the quest. Part 2. The mysterious darkness has expended. Meet Sabrina on top of Celadon City's department store to figure out the source of the darkness. I don't think you should have said the quest completed. You could have just said quest updated. Unless you couldn't do that? But that doesn't make any sense to me. Did my light go down? Is everybody like, like scared in the corner over here or something like that? Is there nobody out and about? Apparently not. Alright. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna go up to the department store. Maybe they all went into the department store. Nice water fountain, bro. Doesn't even move. It's not even a roof. There we go. Can't even see where we're going. Sabrina? Ah, so our aggressive wild Pokemon have taken over the department store because of the darkness. Watch out, here comes some more. <gasps> oh, what's wrong with that one? Triple battle? Shift special. Clicking shift, nothing's happening. Anyway, ancient power. Dark Pulse. And... Dark Pulse. Now. To wrap this up with all of you using agent power dog pulses. There we go. Phew, the darkness is having a strange effect on the wild Pokemon. This rooftop allows us to see far away. Can you see that light in the distance? That's that's Future City. Looks like it's still unaffected by the darkness. Maybe we'll find another of the of these strange prisms there. Zelsar, you should go there. She's investigating. Meanwhile, I'll go talk to my grandmother to see if I can find more information. We'll find a solution to this. We simply cannot let this darkness take over our homes. Alright. No! This isn't completing! Future City appears to be unaffected by the darkness. Go investigate. Go investigate to see if you can find out more information. No! <laughs> We're not completing these. Why are you saying we've completed these? We're going to Fusha City then. We need to talk to Kobe then. A strange contraction eyes. Ah, sorry, the strange receptacle appeared here overnight. Not sure what it is. It appears to upset my to upset my poison type Pokemon. But it won't budge at all, no matter how many physical attacks I inflict upon it. The result is similar to the ones in the Pokemon Tower. Place a strange prism on the pistol. Yep. <gasps> the darkness! Its chilling embrace extends even to Fusha City now, it seems. Hmm. Like the tendrils of poison, it crawls relentless and unseen. I did feel a sense of unrest and an unsettling aura in the air earlier. So, sorry, you must come and see this. I can't even see anything. This strange plant wasn't there before. It just grew instantly when the darkness appeared. And there's more over there. So, so we must follow them and see if it leads somewhere. Stop saying we're completing quests! <laughs> the mysterious darkness has, extent, has expended yet again and strange plants have appeared. Follow the plants to see where they lead. How about we... Lantern our way to victory. But we also save the game. 
just in case. Oh. So I need to go over here. I need to go up here. Over here. I'm a bit lost now. Does it want me to go here? Nope. Doesn't want me to go there. Uh, uh, I'm confused here. Do you see anything with the darkness? Nothing better than the thrill of racing down the cyclic road at breakneck speed. You do that, buddy. I'm confused here. I can cut the oh, I can cut them down. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my word. All right. Ugh. Uh, these strange plants have gone have thrown instantly all over the safari zone They're blocking the entrance so you won't be able to get very far in there okay and he said he wouldn't be able to stop me ooh this might be our chance to find some cool Pokemon to catch with pokeballs Sidra. Lantern going down. Oh, what's this? Ganlon berry. What is with this like game trying to give me berries all of a sudden? remember if there's any wild Pokemon here that I wanted. Ooh. Uh, just a random pity. Uh, we'll find one more and then we'll just continue onward. Although I do want to keep a save of this just in case. point we'll take a look at like the random wild Pokemon that we can find was wasn't there a chance we can find Latius here or am I wrong yeah, I'm gonna save the game I'm gonna go find that save never mind 924 yeah okay so I copy this I don't even know how this is gonna work we're gonna find out if this actually does work. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out if that actually does work. Alright. So we gotta find one of those plants. Ooh, Palos. Okay, uh I found a pearl! Uh, 
Uh, more plants. Chopperberry. All right, Scullipede. Can you stop being caught on everything, Wire? Seriously, you're supposed to be. Hang on. Aren't you supposed to be like this? So you don't get caught on everything. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, Agent Power. No fault. The other one wants to fight. All right. All right, buddy. Show me what you got. Get your power. I don't know what moon was. You didn't even show me what you got. You chose a move I was resistant to. This plant appears to have bloomed. It's bearing a strange fruit. Pick it. I got a strange fruit! Woo! Uh-oh. Not again. It just doesn't like me. It wants me to do stuff. Alright, so what am I supposed to do with this fruit, though? Does it tell me? Um. Oh. I kind of wish Koga or Sabrina was here. Maybe we do need to go to them. Maybe they'll give me an idea what to do with the berry. Oh my word, I can barely even see. My word, man, I can barely see what I'm doing. So let's maybe for Mr. Oak has something. Oh dear Lord! Oh, here's the balloon center. All right. Just like to uh, congratulations, getting all these JoJo gym badges in the Navy task. This isn't the time for this. <laughs> this isn't the time. You gave me a seal. You didn't give me a mic here. Yeah. Uh, did I bug by not... No? Did I bug something out, maybe? Get to the top, the Pokemon Tower. You get the strange prisons, return them back to the festival control. If all this is done correctly, I should be sucked up and you'll have to use the TM Flash in order to get back to the base of the tower. I talked to Sabrina and agree to meet her at Saffron, where you should get another strange prism, then go to Fushia City, put the strange prism on the pedestal next to Koga, which is how strange plants start growing. Follow the plants to the Safari Zone to get the strange berry. Then go to Pallet Town to have Professor Oak analyze it. Do I have to like leave Pallet Town so it recognizes the trigger? Maybe.
I'm confused. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna figure out what the heck is going on here. I feel like it should give me the thing. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> That's so weird. Why doesn't it tell you that? I wonder if it'll still work. I wonder if it'll still work for me. If not, I have to reload that save that I backed up. That's actually kind of funny, though. Okay, so apparently you're not- do not fly out like I did or teleport out. Do not do that. You're supposed to leave at the same way you came in and talk to Koga, who's over here. Zelstar, I see the strange plants led you to the Safari Zone. Hmm, the source of the darkness might be related to that- to the natural world. That's probably why it led you to a place where the balance of nature is particularly evident. Hmm, you mean the one of these uh, that one of these plants bore a fruit? Yes, I see. In this case, the best course of action would be to have it analyzed by none other than Professor O. You should head to his laboratory in Pallet Town. If anyone can figure this out, it's him. Seriously, that's it? You found a strange fruit that appears to be related to the mysterious darkness. Go and go see Professor Oak to have it analyzed. That's not what it says on the wiki, though. That's uh, I literally I'm gonna tell you exactly what it says. All right, this is exactly what it says. Uh, talk with Sabrina. Meet her at Surfron City, uh, where you should get another strange prism. Next, go to Fuchsia City and put the strange prism on the pedestal next to Koga, which will cause strange plants to start growing. Follow the plants to the safari zone to get the strange berry. Then go to Pallet Town to have Professor Oak analyze it. Not go back go back to the entrance of the safari zone to talk to Koga. Or go meet up with Koga at the beginning of like the safari zone. No, it doesn't say that. Oh my word, so this better work. If I glitch the quest because I came here early, I'm gonna be really angry. Congratulations on getting all those It's not an easy test. No! The berry! Do I have to like activate it on him or something like that? What? Do I need to use the computer maybe? No. I need to like. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Do you just have to straight up talk to him or do you have to talk to his assistant? Hang on. Okay, maybe it's just me just overthinking this. Like, just because I know where the NPCs are. Apparently, he's not there. Or the one you're supposed to talk to is not there. Oh my word, what is wrong with this quest? It looks, it feels so buggy. There he is. Hmm, it appears the Cinnabar Island has been entirely plunged into darkness as well. How peculiar. Star, I am glad to see you. I totally wasn't in my per uh, in my lab like 20 seconds ago. Something very perplexing appears to be happening to the region. And it started when the eastern cities were plunged in darkness, but now it appears to have spread to the entire region. Hmm? What's that about a strange fruit you found? Hmm. This could be very well be related to this darkness. Would you please let me examine it? Yes. Hand it over to strange fruit to press your open. Hmm, how odd. I see. The fruit appears to have a very faint glow, but there doesn't but there doesn't seem to be anything else unusual about it. However, it only seems to glow when it's facing a certain direction. Anyway, strange fruit. So, so the strange fruit appears to glow whenever you're facing north. Take it out of your inventory and try it yourself. It looks like it could lead you somewhere. You should try and use it like a compass. Follow its glow. There is a chance that it could lead you to the source of it all. Yay. The strange plant you found appears to glow in the, in the mysterious darkness that now covers the entire region. Try to follow the glow and find out where the surface is. 
Well, I have the walkthrough here and the, the video as well. It literally tells you where to go, so. Uh, actually, I want to see if you, like, is it something you can actually use? It appears to be glowing. Okay. Again, I, I, the video kind of spoils it in a sense, though, but, like, we need to go to here. We need to go to Mount Moon. Now, does it bring us to the Pokemon Center outside? It does, okay. Now, I don't remember where to go for this. But we are going to use the Lantern. There we go. We're also going to be using the Strange Fruit, just so that way we have it. We're also going to be using Super Repels. Fine. Please, no Articunos. And a Jaw Fossil, that's good. I don't know where it is, though. Is it What's going on? Why is the area pulsing? Ah, uh, I think I got a buggy game. I think I need to, uh... I think I need to double check my install. It's pulsing, why is it pulsing? I'm finding all the fossils now. Nothing in here? No. Okay, let's go the right way for now, I guess. I kind of thought it would t it would like one of these like uh, these breakaway paths kind of thing, right? Like the paths that take you away from like the main story kind of thing. I guess not. I guess it wants you to go the right way for a little bit. Oh, there's this stuff. Okay. Wait, wasn't there like a like wasn't there a cave over here or something like that? Yeah, this thing. It's still pulsing in here. It sounds louder though. What's this? <gasps> I knew. All right, we're gonna super speed. All right, Thunder Wave. Ha. Thunderbolt! And now it's time that we just throw our Pokeballs at it! You boost up your physical defense, I don't care. I was almost gonna say there's no shot I was gonna give it to me, like, second try. Oh, 
only have one ring out, I think, right? I only used it twice. There you go. Oh, it wasn't enough, though. Ring out, I think, has five power points, correct? If it doesn't have any more ring outs, I think I've seen its entire move pool. If I were to move over to Zorobor, it should be able to survive, no matter what. My leftovers are just going to keep on healing. This also means we can use the battle form of Necrozma. Uh, by the way, we're at 10 times speed, so... Pokeball. I think it's out of ring out, so I should probably switch to Zorobor then. Go, Necroball! <laughs> Necrozma versus Necrozma. The epic clash of titans. Not really. I am just chucking Pokeballs at it though. No Pokemon like that. I like how the whole music during the entire thing was Necrozma's like music or its soundtrack, and yet in battle it's not even special. doesn't even have a special soundtrack or anything. Got the Necrozma. Let's go. No. It's just Necrozma. Quest completed. Now we're the Emperor of the World now. <laughs> we have the Pokemon that can make the entire world go dark. Legitimately, we have it. I was I'm very majestic at this time of day, don't you agree? I have to come in and admire the rock formations whenever I get some free time. Okay, so is this just like Oh okay, so we just find okay, so we just had the event that we just find him and then Okay, so he's just saying like, oh wow, you seem to have grown since then, blah blah blah, right? So there's that too. Okay. Should be fine. Yeah, every other, I think, legendary, I think we've already done. Or at the very least, like, we can't do anymore. Uh, 
let's see here. Yeah, it's the only other legendary we can do. Unless we can do... Unless we can do this one. I don't think we can, though. Oh! It had no effect. Yeah, I wonder why it's not removed. Can we... Wait, hang on a second. Necrozma's quest. Do you do anything? Can you, like... No, it doesn't tell you anything. Okay. It doesn't, like, have, like, an extra thing attached to it. Like, it's not, like, an extra, like, thing. Like, oh, you can bring it to this guy. He'll he'll pay you handsomely for it or something like that. Or he'll give you a rare item just because, like, you give him the strange fruit or whatever. Or you can go to, like, a strange plant expert kind of thing. And he's like, wow, this is a, this is a rare nocturnal plant. Wait, I thought this was a battle form. I thought that was the whole reasoning for this, was this just a battle form. Unless it's a permanent change. What does Norforce do? Powers up moves that are super effective? Wait a minute. That's way too broken. Hang on, do I have a card for? <gasps> I'm taking the item. Give me this item. Psychic Fairy. I don't remember it having any cool fusions, though. I might be wrong now. It might have one. It's okay. the thing out of my sight. This one looks really good. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can make it timid. No. That's so powerful. I just made a freaking behemoth. And I don't even think the game understands what it just gave me. Let's bring out. It is five, I was right. The more health the foe has, the greater this boost attack power. No. Oh. <laughs> I want to try this out so badly, but I know for a fact it's just gonna replace this one. Does it, isn't this one modest? It's serious? So neutral or go really, really fast. I kind of like the really, really fast one. I'll think about it. I don't even think there's anything else over here. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, next time we'll go through a critique thing. I don't think we can take on the gym. I think we have to do a side quest for the gym. Do you see that? Are you looking at the gym leader? He went to the burn tower to train. Probably doesn't want anybody bothering him. Yeah, okay. And this is the burn tower, isn't it? It's the burn tower. It was hit by lightning 147 years ago and subsequently burned down. Morty, our local gym leader, often goes inside to train. All right, so we'll go fight Morty, be able to take on his gym, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion.